Hello everyone, I'm Kanan Thiniam. I lead the Electrical Technologies and Systems Organization with GE Global Research Center in Bangalore. In my organization, we develop technologies in the areas of power electronics, power systems, electromagnetics, controls, and optics. I've been with GE Global Research Center for about 15 years, and prior to that, I was working in an electric utility in the United States called Entergy Services Incorporated, where I was primarily responsible for being part of the technical team, bringing in new solutions to Entergy's transmission grid. I've been involved in IEEE for a number of years, and currently I'm serving as the chair of the IEEE Power and Energy Society in Bangalore. So there are several technology advancements that have taken place in 2015 across the world, and a lot has to do with forecasting of renewables, integration of energy storage with renewables, and also in terms of the controls associated to ensure that the grid accepts all these renewables without having to worry about the frequency or the voltage fluctuations. 2016 and forward is going to be a very, again, very exciting for technologists. Um, some of the key technology trends that are happening is advancements in power electronics, where we have new devices such as silicon carbide coming into the uh, application space uh, significantly, and this can you know, create a world of difference for various, various systems. The second technology advancement is in the areas of controls. As systems become bigger and bigger, there is a huge need for system level controls that can make sure that whatever system that we are talking about, be it a power system or elect electrification of you know, several other systems, can maintain its stability. The third area of technology development is in uh, industrial internet or the Internet of Things. As we have more and more devices connected to big systems, these devices are going to be starting to talking to each other and sending information across to each other. And so there's a huge need for making sure that there is a common platform that can capture all this data, analyze the data, and then come up with appropriate decisions that can either improve the efficiency or the reliability of the entire system.